tonight we're going to be talking about uh, the idea between between actual yield and theoretical yield. And um, just to give you a couple of ideas about what we're talking about here is is yield is basically going to tell us um, what amount of product is going to be made. So um, actual yield is the amount is the amount of product that's actually made in a laboratory setting. Um, where theoretical yield, we can define This is going to be the amount of product that we should make, and we find this by calculating it using our stoichiometry. Whereas in the lab setting, what we're going to do is we're going to actually measure it using a balance. Um, our actual yield is going to be usually less than um, our theoretical yield, and that's due to a few reasons. One, you might have lost product whether uh, there's some products sticking to uh, the side of a beaker, gets passed through a filter, um, something like that. Or we might have um, what we call a side reaction, which is a reaction that we don't expect to happen, that maybe occurs that we're not aware of, and so not all of our reactants are converted into products. So actual yield versus theoretical yield. Now, what we use these two things for is basically to do a calculation called percent yield. Now, percent yield calculation is really easy calculation. It's going to be our actual yield divided by our theoretical yield, and we're going to multiply that, multiply that by 100. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, now that we know this, this is what's going on here, let's take a look at a problem. And we'll give you a balanced equation. And yeah, here's our balanced equation, and, and um, problem will be... Three point five grams of H two is going to react with excess N two uh, to form seventeen point five grams of NH three. Um, what's the percent yield? So I, I threw in there on purpose the excess just so we're not dealing with a, a limiting reagent problem. Although we can deal with a limiting reagent problem, and you'll see in the next example we do we deal with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to of course do the stoichiometry first. And the stoichiometry is going to allow us to figure out what our um, what our theoretical yield is. So starting off with 3.2 grams of H2, and I'm going to go to grams of NH3 real quickly here, and so I'm going to go one mole of H2 over 2.02 molar mass of H2. Um, we'll throw in a 2 to 3 ratio of ammonia to hydrogen from the balanced equation, 17.0 over one mole. And so we're going to get an answer of 19.63 grams. Now, what that is, because I did the stoichiometry, that's going to be my theoretical yield. Now, um, going over to the next page, well, staying on this page real quickly, our actual yield is giving to us in the problem. They said it formed 17.5 grams, so this is my actual. So I have actual 17.5 less than theoretical 19.63. So jumping over to the next page here, we can do a quick percent yield calculation. So We'll do 17.5 grams divided by 19.63 grams multiplied by 100, and that's going to give us a percent yield of about 89.1%. And uh, that's not too bad of a percent yield, as you'll see in some labs that we do this year. Now, this type of problem can be asked in another manner, so I want to throw this one at you. This, let's say we take some, some lithium metal and we react it with some nitrogen gas. This is a combination reaction, and it's going to form... Um, two lithium nitrides um, as a solid. Okay? And the problem is going to set up this way. Let's say we have um, 5.0 grams of each reactant 
producing a yield of 88.5%. How many grams of lithium nitrate are actually formed? Okay. So now, because we have five grams of each reactant here um, reacting, we need to do uh, a limiting reagent type problem to determine our theoretical yield, because I'm not sure if they're equal. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. So five grams of lithium to start with, and we're going to go to lithium nitride, and then we'll do five grams of our other reactant, which is nitrogen and we're going to go to lithium nitride as well. So we'll do this real quickly here, and then we'll see what we get for our theoretical yield. So one mole over the molar mass of lithium. Uh, we have a 2 to 6 ratio of lithium um, nitride to lithium. Molar mass of lithium nitride, 34.82. One mole there. And let me run it through here on the next one. One mole over molar mass of nitrogen, double 28 grams of N2. Um, we have a 2 to 1 ratio, and then we're going to go 34.82 again. Now, in these calculations, I get 8.36 grams of lithium nitrate formed here, and I get 12.4 grams of lithium nitrate formed there. So what this is going to tell me is my theoretical yield is the less of the two, 8.36 grams of lithium nitride formed equals our theoretical yield. Now, the question asked how many grams of lithium nitride are actually formed. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, once again, the percent yield formula, which is equal to actual divided by theoretical multiplied by 100. And I've got a lot of these values. In the problem, it gave me the percent yield is 88.5. So 88.5% is equal to actual, which is what I'm looking for, over my theoretical, which is 8.36 grams multiplied by 100. So now I'm going to solve this for actual. And so solving this guy for actual, I'll do it right over here. We're going to get 8.36 multiplied by 88.5%. We've got to throw the 100 in there, put the 100 on the bottom, and that gives me actual... And when I do this calculation, I come out with an answer. I'm not going to bring it over here, I'm running out of space, and we'll call it 7.4 grams of Li3N. If I want to double check my work, I can go back and take 7.4 grams and divide it by my theoretical 8.36. It better give me 88.5%, and it does. So that's the lecture notes for tonight. There also was a homework problem for you to do to go along with. Um, today's lecture in class, and then we'll do some practice problems on actual versus theoretical in class tomorrow. Hope you have a fantastic evening.